Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to another episode of VGC Prep. Today is episode number 10. Um, we're still using the Chuckle Trick Room team. As I mentioned in episode number 9, we will be moving over, hopefully soon, to a more um, balanced team. Uh, it's going to still be this Trick Room Chuckle team, but it's going to be, I think, a little bit more refined, um, a little bit better. Um, this is the first team I ever made for VGC. And for the first team ever, it's not too bad if I do say so myself. But um, last battle, we kind of had some unfortunate luck. And this team is awesome. Oh man, outside of the Talonflame, this is one of the coolest teams I've seen in a really long time. Uh, you've got the Heracross, we've got the Talonflame, we've got the ever present, ever strong Nidoking, King, who I need to make a version of. Um, and maybe I'll pair it up with a Murkrow, just, just don't tell anyone. Um, we've got the Obama Snow, who's most likely his Mega, unless he runs me both Mega Heracross and Obama Snow, or if he just runs Mega Heracross. The Tauros, who, from personal experience, I know those things are hit hard. How they hard they hit in this generation, I can't say. And the Heliolisk, so this is a very... I don't see a theme with this team, to be quite honest. It honestly just looks like a few things thrown together, which people do. I think that's called good stuffs, but I mean, still. So we're going for the Tyranitar. No, wait, he might lead off with that, uh... I guess the re- um, I'm gonna go for it anyway. Um... I don't really know. I'll, I'll bring Mawile to handle the, f uh... The, uh... Heracross and Talonflame, it should be able to deal with that a little bit. And let's go for the Aromatis. Uh, he doesn't have anything that actually. Well, Nidoking hits me super effectively, but I've got Garchomp for Nidoking. I know Nidoking can run Ice Beam, but we're max speed. I think we outspeed Nidoking. I should look that up actually before I get ahead of myself. I'm watching super bad as I do this. How do you spell Nidoking? That's like the one Pokemon that's impossible for me to spell sometimes. So I always want to spell Nidoking King starting with a K, and that, that's cle clearly wrong. Uh, come on, Cerebi. Your results are so weird for searching. Oh, so weak! He did not. And I repeat, he did not start off with his... Uh... Uh, bomb of snow. So I'm just gonna hit that earthquake real quick. Hopefully he goes for our Tyranitar protected. Um, and if we get rid of this Heracross or bring it to a point where our Garchomp can kill it with a Dragon Claw, um, I'm gonna Ice Beam that Nidoking, King. Even though the Nidoking's King's probably gonna kill us if we can't kill it with this earthquake. Uh, he withdraws, which hey, dude, I'm totally fine with that. Do whatever you want. Hopefully, oh Tauros. Oh, Intimidate. Ah, that's fine. Whatever, man. Uh, let's see, how fast is Nidoking? Nidoking's only base 85? Really? Huh. I always thought it was better. Um, Tauros, I don't know how speedy this thing is. I, th I want to say it's base 100. I want to say. I'm looking it up right now. It's, it's 110, I was kind of close. Um, okay, so that did like, no damage? Did he protect? Ah, oh, why do I miss these things? Can we survive a Heracross's close combat? Well. I think we can. I'm gonna fire blast it. Um, and for the Tauros, I don't know what this Tauros is gonna. I'm not gonna switch out into anything because I know they like to run. Um, <sighs> Earthquake. Oh god, they're so fast too. What he mega? Oh, we can't survive a close combat from this thing. Return. Oh, that's gonna work in our favor. Sort of. I mean, if the Heracross cross tar targets us, then it's going to work in our favor. Um, if it doesn't, then it's not. Uh, we'll see. Hopefully this thi one of them flinches. That didn't. Yes! Yes! We got the flinch! We got the flinch! Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, what? How do you survive that? How the heck do you survive that? Um... Well... Uh... <laughs> I'm gonna switch into Mawile here. I want to preserve him. Um, wow. Okay. You go, Heracross. <laughs> go figure. And I protected with the Tyrantar because I really just want I want this Heracross down and not doing damage to my team. Uh, that would rid him of his Mega. Which would be so sweet. 
Now they're both intimidated. Um, Sand won't be killing this Tauros, but I think it's in the range to kill the Heracross, so we should be completely fine. It returns. That's not going to do very much damage. We resist it. Goes for the Pin Missile. We protect. Pin Missile. Ooh, that does hit us super effective. Oh, neither of them go down. And, um, I'm going to sack off Garchomp. Because either way, if one of them attacks them, it's, they're going to go down. I'm going to Mega Evolve and Circuit Punch them. No, I'm going to protect. What am I doing? I, I, I don't, I'm not even going to Mega Evolve. I'm just going to protect. This way, both of them goes down this turn. I think. If Heracross targets Tyranitar, Heracross goes down. Tauros goes down to Sand. If Tauros goes for Garchomp, there's a chance that I, that Heracross might not go down. Um, he didn't target him, which is very bizarre. Um, hopefully the sand will take him out, and then we're sitting very solid at 4-2. to two. So we'll see. Tauros is down for the count. I don't think we took out any of his other guys. Heracross, can you do us a favor? Is it down? No! 1 HP probably, right? Who does he send in next? Goes for that Talonflame. This Talonflame is most likely going to um, Brave Bird us, so I am actually going to go into Tyranitar, because I'm a cheeky motherfucker. Mother... I didn't say a word. Uh, Mega Evolve, Sucker Punch on that Heracross. Unless he goes for the Brave Bird, in which case he's a better player than I am. But I need this Garchomp to take the next Talonflame attack. Um, he probably he doesn't know that we're completely special yet. Um, so we'll see. We'll see. There's I've been doing this monotype challenge thing, and some, certain teams are so 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 hard to work through. I'm not even kidding. They are ridiculously hard. Um, I'm gonna sack. I want to keep... Well, let's see who he brings, because Sandstorm is done. So I, I might need to bring out... Bring Tyrantar back out. Or take him out and bring someone in. Nid okay. okay. I'm going for the... I have Ice Beam. I'm going to Ice Beam the Nid okay. No. Yes, yes. I, I don't have a better move. And I'm going to... Sucker Punch the Talonflame just to do enough damage. Um, hopefully this Nidoking. King... Wow! That did a massive amount. He... It's oh, he's probably double teaming Tyranitar. Yeah. Okay. That would make sense. Oh, he died! Sweet! So now it's just Nidoking. King. Go for the Mawal. Oh, goodness. Why would you do that? Why would you do that, my friend? You got nothing to win. Uh, lose. Okay. So, I think he only has Nidoking left. I think. Alright, Talonflame went down, and the other things that he had went down. Yeah, he has the Nidoking. So, I'm going for that Earthquake. And Sucker Punch. Earthquake will probably kill me, but Sucker Punch will put him in enough range where Earthquake will kill him. Unless he's Choice Scarf. Hopefully he's not Choice Scarf. We'll find out right now. And he goes down, so I'm sorry. Oh, my wild didn't even die, so we kept, we kept. Did he see it all right? Yeah, turn off our one down. Nice, 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 nice. Was that two battles? I don't even remember. I'm gonna say it's one. <laughs> We're gonna go again. <laughs> Cause I just did two battles in a row. So I don't, I don't know. Yeah. No, I don't want to save that. Yes, I'm sure. Okay, time. In party, we'll be seeing those guys shortly, or you'll probably have already seen them. Um, I usually tend to like putting out the mono touch. I'm gonna try it backwards this time. You'll probably be seeing this first. If I remember, I probably won't. <laughs> okay. The he brought VGC the game! But I mean, if I can't counter VGC the game, then I can't win VGC. <laughs> um, and this is where my new team would actually come in really handle. Handle. Hand. 
handy. Quit your run. Someone just like that. Like that tyrant that that sun lead is very, very obvious. And Mega's gonna cancel out my sand, so I'm gonna bring in Aromatis. Because other than Aegis Slash, nothing hits me super effectively. And Shuckle, because again... Well, no, there's other things that hit me super effectively for Shuckle. Um, I'm going to bring in Mawile. I think that's a good move. And... Tyranitar. I think that's the best move I have. I'm silent because I'm just thinking. I don't know what I'm thinking about, but I'm thinking. We'll see. We'll see. I'm expecting Salamence to be part of his leads. I'm expecting. No. Oh. Really? I'm going to Maul I don't have much of a choice. Um, and I'm just going to Shell Smash my beautiful Shuffle. Whose name is Endolith, by the way. You guys don't really get to see that because there's no nicknames here. He's named Endolith because that's what he's based off of. Creature that lives in a shell, I think. If I'm remembering that correctly, I'm probably not. It's just such an epic name. You know, that's something like you would see in, like, Gilgamesh or... Beowulf, like... And then Endolith walked into the cave and slayed the giant three-headed thing. Epically. Definitely. Yeah, right. Iron Head. Flash Cat. Oh, what? 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 Okay, everyone, go home, get your games out, and make a special Age of Slash. Because that, ooh, I really like that a lot. What do I, oh my god, right, I have steel weaknesses. What do I do about this? <sighs> oi, oi, you know what I do about this? I bring my next team. Although Age of Slash still runs train. Um, I'm fire blasting that guy because I need him dead. And, um, shell smashing again because I have nothing better to do. The good news the no, there is no good news. Never mind. Ignore that. I love Age of Slash. He's such a sweet and versatile Pokemon. I at first saw Hone Edge and was like, that thing's stupid. Then I got it in the game, I was like, and then I saw like they released Stew Blade, and I was like, ooh, that thing's kinda cool. So he switches out. Oh, he switches out! Ow! Oh. That's Lee Lee! Oh man, that did a lot of damage! Fire Blast! It didn't do any damage! <laughs> I got an idea. Power split. Am I? Am I? Am I gonna power split the card drop? I'm just. I'm ice beaming. No. No. I need Tyranitar for that Age of Slash. It's gonna kill me. I'm going into Aromatis. And I'm gonna Shell Smash again. Reason I need to. That Age of Slash was ridiculous. Why was it so strong? It one shot a goddamn Mawile. I'm looking that up right now. Special Aegis Slash. I know, it has like base like 150 when it switches, but... <sighs> Telepathy! Oh, it missed its own. Okay, that's fine. Oh my god, really? Really? Bye, Shuckle, I'm sorry. Oh! Thank you. I mean, it doesn't matter now, because you're dead.
Well, I'm setting trick room up. I have to. Then we'll bring him in, we'll KO that Garchomp with all the forces imaginable, and we'll keep Tyranitar alive as long as possible. I'm sorry, Shuffle, but you need to take one for the team. If he switches out, right, because he's expecting a Moonblast. No, okay, not easy. The level he's kind of cool. We're probably going to go down this turn with both the guys. Both of our guys. Come to think of it. That's only really Moonblast and Psychic? What else do you run? <sighs> well, that's game. There's nothing we can do. Earthquake's gonna take us out, and then the mole blast is gonna take us out. So we be done. Be done. Be done. Earthquake's gonna kill us. Because why? Because we're weak to it. Go game. <laughs> Oi. Well, hopefully we don't epically fail on our uh, monotype challenge. I mean, if we have to do it another week, that's fine. I mean, that just means we have more time to read the next game. But uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you guys at the next video. Peace.